Hi, this is Randy Rice of Rice Consulting Services and RiceConsulting.com and this is another short video in my series of some basic testing principles that I think that help us get a, a broader understanding of what we do as testers. The principle that I want to talk about today is that exhaustive testing is impossible. Now I know some of you might be thinking, yeah, I've certainly been exhausted in testing before. Uh, the, the idea here is that you know, as testers, we often say, well, I just never have enough time for testing. Well, even if you had all the time in the world, you still wouldn't have enough time for testing, simply because it, you, don't, you just don't have time to test all the possible input combinations and output combinations. So, instead of trying to test everything, what we tend to do, and we want to apply some uh, maybe helpful approaches, we tend to maybe focus on risk. Uh, we may do techniques such as pairwise testing to reduce the number of combinations. Uh, we may also do things like uh, cause-effect graphing uh, and do more of a logic-based approach to optimizing our testing. But the, the thing about it is we, we just simply run up against this wall. And there's a great example of this, and I, I got this from James Whitaker's book, How to Break Software. If you look at Internet Explorer and... Uh, pull down the Internet Options uh, tab, uh, you'll see there's an Advanced uh, Options uh, little tab there. And on there you'll see uh, 53 or so binary conditions. I don't remember the exact version of IE I took this from, but these uh, checks are either off or on. And it's possible, actually, I believe, to have them all checked and to have them all off. So if we apply the rule to, to the however many power we have in conditions, in this case 53, 2 to the 53rd power would be uh, over 9 quadrillion uh, possible combinations of conditions. But it gets even more interesting because there's one group of radio buttons that's got three options and one group with four. So if you multiply those together, that gives you 12. You multiply that 12 times the 9 quadrillion and you have over one and a half, one, 108 quadrillion possible combinations of conditions. And so even with tools, you couldn't get the job done. Uh, so e if you did like one second per test execution, uh, it would work out to over 300 trillion hours, over tr uh, 12 billion days and over 34 billion years uh, to test all possible combinations. And at that point, you know, we've reached like twice the estimated age of the universe by some scientists. So, uh, and that's just a test at once, okay? That doesn't even, even include regression testing. So, obviously, the answer is not ultimately getting more time for testing, although a little more time can help. I'm not going to argue that. Uh, a little time often helps us get a little bit of edge on testing, but the real question is, how are we prioritizing the tests that we're doing, and are we testing the right things? So just remember, exhaustive testing is impossible, but you can get exhausted doing testing. This is Randy Rice. If you want more information like this, show up at my website, riceconsulting.com. Thanks for watching.